tracks today. Yeah. Yeah. I need them bands, run it up fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Leaving the house with the glizzy, nigga. Let's get to the sports talk. Andrew Luck live up to the, the hype. And yes, he had to live up to the hype. As what was what was Andrew Luck's billing coming out? That he was a surefire franchise quarterback. A lot of the, the scouts said he was the best quarterback they'd scouted since John Elway. And he's been all of those things. He's been a guy who has provided his team with the franchise quarterback. He's the stability, stability of this team when he's on the field. And the reason that he's hurt is because he's tough as nails. Because he decides to stand in the pocket and take hits. Because he runs for extra yards. But coming out of stand they said that he was smart, he had a strong arm, and he was athletic. And we have seen all of those things on display for Andrew Luck since he's been in the league. And if you're going to compare him to a guy like John Elway, who came into a, a draft class that had quarterbacks who were drafted with him, Kelly, O'Brien, Marino, he wasn't necessarily the best of those guys early, but Andrew Luck, compared to a guy like Robert Griffin III, he's been a better quarterback. He's been a more stable quarterback. He's been a better franchise quarterback. He's a guy who has shown all the talents that we saw of... Yes, he has shown it. Because uh, they picked RG3 before him. They said RG was going to be a better quarterback than him. The Colts drafted him because they know what he can bring to that franchise. His first, his first three years, he went, he went to the wild card. Then after that, he went to the uh, the AFC ch uh, championship game. Then yeah, the injuries he had kind of set him back, but he came back strong and almost got the team back to a championship game again. He proved why the coach drafted him. He lived up to the hype. He came out the injury playing like an MVP caliber player. It's that you know it take a more bigger step this year. He got more talent around him. He got a good offensive line around him to protect him well. He got a defense that's around him to help him uh, help him out, keep teams off the board. He have a better team this year. Him in Stanford, he's also taking his team to the playoffs. And John Elway, who's the guy he was compared to coming out of school, didn't win his Super Bowls until the last two years of his career. So there are going to be some people that say, you know what, Andrew Luck hasn't done the things that we expected him to do, and I think they're going to start, you're going to start to compare him to whether it's Aaron Rodgers, you're going to compare him to Patrick Mahomes, some of these guys who weren't as highly touted or as highly scouted as Andrew Luck was coming out of, of college, but Andrew Luck has been everything that he was supposed to be as a player singularly and as a player for the team, the Indianapolis Colts. I'm a big Andrew Luck guy. Um, you just can't say he's lived up to the hype. Why not? Who's the best quarterback you've ever seen? Not the greatest, most accomplished. Who's the best? Aaron Rodgers. I agree. I once asked Aaron Rodgers on my radio show in L.A., Max and Marcellus back then on ESPN L.A. And um, How did he live the hype? They must have seen what he did last season. They had like 37 touchdowns and like, dang, 11 picks or something. That's a good... Year, the injury he had, he came back strong. He's showing you he lived up to the hype. He's showing you he could carry that franchise. He showed you what he could do with less talent around him to make them better. That ain't no nothing but a franchise quarterback that know what he's doing. That's why the Colts gave him that money. The work he put in to get back on that field to help his team get to the playoffs and almost get there again. Come on, man. He lived up to the hype. Yeah, it's going back four years, five years. Like that. I said something like, who do you think is going to replace you as the best quarterback in the game? And we measured that. I went through, when I went over Andrew Luck, and when we talked to Andrew Luck, he goes, well, that sounds like the guy, right? Something to that effect. Mm. Like, Bigger than Aaron Rodgers, also with a big arm, can throw it out, can do all these things. That's where the expectation.
qualifications were by the best himself. He's the athlete eyeball test, right? You're underselling his reputation out of college. What we were hearing and what was telling to me is the closer the circle got to him, the more information people had about him, the stronger they held this opinion. He could be the best player of all time. He could be the best quarterback who ever lived. Now, it's not fair to Andrew Luck that he's only turned out so far to be an excellent franchise quarterback. Yeah. Right. right? Like, that's what he is. There was a player named Bobby Mercer that I grew up loving, a Yankee, right? He came out... Like, it's a couple people in these organizations, draft quarterbacks, that think was going to be it. But it turned out not to be. This case right here, Andrew Luck, showed why the coach drafted him. He lived up to it. They thought he was going to be a bus. He came in and showed, I'm not going to be a bus. I'm going to show you I can carry this organization. I can bring this organization to Super Bowls. He's going to bring them. Trust and believe, he's going to bring them a championship. You just had to put a team around him like they did this year. They got functions. They got Campbell from Ohio State drafted him. They got T.Y. Hilton. They got Ebron and a good offensive line to go around him. That's a lot of talent surrounding him. Now he's going to be able to carry this team to the next level. Of Oklahoma, it came out of the same town as Mickey Mantle, right? Same area as Mickey Mantle. And because of that, people, you know, uh, typecast very easily. He was called the next Mickey Mantle. Bobby Mercer made five all-star teams and was considered a major disappointment as a player. Like, not fair to this guy because he's being compared to Mickey Mantle. Nevertheless, if you said, did Bobby Mercer live up to the hype? You'd say, no, he was an excellent player, but he didn't live up to that hype because who could, right? right? And Drew Luck had absurd hype. In order for him to live up to it, he'd at least have some to have some kind of real good luck at the end of his career and win two Super Bowls the way Elway did, right? That's a lot. If you say he's on Elway's trajectory, which he's not quite, Elway had this Hall of Fame trajectory, made Super Bowls, Andrew Luck hasn't. Right, Elway right? made and then, Super Bowls, but did you see the numbers, though? No doubt, but it was a different era. Right. But you're right, even in that era, he wasn't putting up Dan Marino. Absolutely. Was, right? But he made those Super Bowls, something Andrew Luck hasn't done. And then he had like a Donovan McNabbish career, actually. And then at the end, he won, won two Super Bowls. Well, that's a whole lot to do at the end, brother, to win two Super Bowls. So you can't even say Luck is on the John Elway trajectory quite, right? Because he'd have to have these enormous things happen to him at the end. I love Andrew Luck. I pull for Andrew Luck. I, I like watching him play. I think he's great. I think he's totally excellent. He hasn't lived up to the hype. Well, to me, I think Andrew Luck's hype has played into the reasons why some people could say he hasn't lived up to it, right? Because when you look at the teams you build around Andrew Luck, it's not like the Peyton Manning teams that were built in Indianapolis that said, you know what, we're going to play to Peyton. Peyton Manning strength. We're going to get a good running back. We're going to have a great center in Jeff Saturday, a good line. We're going to have two number one wide receivers on the outside. And then because we know we're going to get the lead, we're going to build our defense to not give up deep balls and rush the passer. That hasn't been what Andrew Luck has had. Andrew Luck hasn't had protection. Aside from T.Y. Hilton, he hasn't had a receiver that was considered an elite or number one receiver in this league. He also hasn't had a running game to back him up. And on the other side of that, until last year, he didn't have defense. And he made the AFC Championship game because of him. Right. And, right? So, and, and now, finally, he has a team. Of see, what I, see what I just said? He carried that team to an AFC Championship game. He ain't have a line around him previous years. He ain't had a run the game previous years. He ain't had a lead wide receivers previous years. He only had one. Now this year, they put a team around him that's going to help him and take all the pressure off him to keep him on that field. They put a team around him. That's what sports are about. Put a team around your star player. It's going to help. That's what you have to do so they can succeed. Round 
them and people are like, oh, they could win the Super Bowl. But again, those are the expectations. What he hasn't right. done no, it yet. No, those are those are the expectations, but we also have to realize that what we're looking at from Andrew Luck, and I think this happens with any quarterbacks. I think they get way too much uh, credit when teams win, right? When teams are successful. Tom Brady has won six Super Bowls and it, it all goes to Tom Brady, right? And, and, and it's now that Andrew Luck hasn't, it's all on Andrew Luck. When for real, the only reason they're in playoff conversations, the only reason they made an AFC championship is because is of he Andrew Aaron Rodgers. Is he, he as is, good as Aaron Rodgers? He is not Aaron Rodgers. Is he Rogers. on the trajectory was, to ever was, be as good as Aaron Rodgers? Was, was, Aaron, was Aaron Rodgers supposed to be Aaron Rodgers? Right, but I'm saying Aaron Rodgers and had Andrew Luck and said that dude right there. I'm they're saying different, they're different. Like, nobody ain't know how Aaron Rodgers is going to turn out. Like, you didn't know how he was going to turn out after Brad Favre retired. Nobody ain't know. He's still... Over that Green Bay, he still ain't really had a team around him. But there ain't nobody there I know that he was gonna be this good. Nobody ain't know. I want somebody to say they know. No, you didn't. Physical tools of the two. Because even if you go back to Stanford, who played a very pro style offense, yep. Stanford was one of the few run first offenses in the Pac 12, even with Andrew Luck, because that's the way David Shaw wanted to play ball. He wasn't about gaudy numbers. Let me, let, me, let me just say, the way this show works, right? Like, a lot of people think we're trolling. Or, or how does right. Stephen A and I, or when you, whoever, like, gets subs in and you, you the last two days, excellent job as always. It's like, how could they disagree about everything? When the preparation of this show is really finding out what we disagree Absolutely. about. We're not making it up, right? Um, I'm not trolling anybody. I, I grew up a Kobe Bryant fan. Mm -hmm. I love Andrew Luck. He's like, how I've been singing his praises. But the reason that we have these jobs is because we don't care about your feelings, right? 100%. Like, if the question is, is Kobe a top, th like, in the top three of the all-decade team? Hell no. That's ridiculous. <laughs> is, is, has Andrew Luck lived up to the hype? Nah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app.